Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Comic Book Club. I'm Alex. I am Pete. And Justin is still away, but we are going to answer your audience questions. Yeah. You guys sent them in to twitter.com slash comic book live. We're going to try to blast through them. But if we don't make it to yours, uh, please know that we will be asking again next week. Um, so check it again. Hopefully they're not all about Justin, because that will be are. tough. First one is, why is Justin so pretty? <laughs> well, it's because he's a girl. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Andrew Nickel asks, this is a question right for you, Pete. Got any recommendations for good Hulk runs? Just pick up the omnibus and looking for more. Well, obviously I would say um, that uh, the Jeff Loeb stuff, is no. You, there's no joke. No, no, I would say that uh, you would go back... Uh, I, the first arc that I fell in love with was Herb Trimpey's, uh I can't remember the name of it, but he shrinks down and uh, to a very uh, small Hulk and takes oh, yeah, on it. Saves the I day also love the stuff uh, where he was on the crossroads, oh, uh, yeah, where yeah. that was the first time Doctor Strange banished the Hulk. That was pretty good. Speaking of that, uh, Planet Hulk. Planet Hulk great. was amazing. Uh, like World War Hulk Old, as well. World War Breaker, good. yes. Yeah, was... that's good. All of Peter David's stuff is yeah, excellent. So yeah. You can go back, pick up, I think. In the Hulk visionary strange yeah. you can find uh, But the the old school, like, the fun stuff is the Tim Sale Jeff Loeb is just kind of like beautiful, kind of cool look at it. It's a oh, sad Hulk. Right. Hulk. Yeah, Hulk. Yeah, Hulk right. Great. It's also very yeah. good. Uh, John M. Powell 01 asks, where is the best social network for artists and writers to meet and collaborate? Um, a lot of people uh, do it on DeviantArt or LiveJournal. Those are two places. Zuda is a great place to chat. Also, just on message boards in general, it's a great place to connect. Um, another great place, if you want to do someplace live, there's a comic book talk show every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Yeah, in New York City. In New York City, it's a great place. Yeah, it's a I very am, open forum. I'm joking, obviously, but at the same time, we do have plenty of people that come by there and chat. So if you want to come hang out and talk comic books. I would say find, find your art, what you want to do, and then kind of look for websites along those lines. Like... I know you, if you go to Marvel and DC chat, there's people who are talking a lot of shop there. So really find what you like and then kind of go from there. That's a great recommendation. Uh, Evil Twin Brian says, do you guys think Dick Grayson taking the mantle of Batman seems like it's riding the whole Bucky taking over as Cap thing? Oh, wow. I didn't think about it that way. But now that you mention it, it's very interesting. Uh, but you are so sarcastic. No, no, no. I'm serious. Oh, really? Yeah, it didn't, it didn't occur to me until now. Uh, until he brought it up, an evil twin, very, very sly. Um, here, here's the thing, actually. I'm going to break it down for you guys. All these times when uh, two comic book fans, it seems like, oh, man, DC's totally ripping off Marvel. Oh, man, Marvel's totally ripping off DC. This is just stuff that happens. Yeah. Writers have ideas. They're not, nobody knowingly tries to rip somebody else off. Dude, that's not true, because in every Marvel meeting, there's a DC plan. And vice versa. <laughs> well, okay, I'll use this very specific example. A lot of people are talking about Necro Show, which is the upcoming event, and X-Force, New Mutants, and X-Men Legacy, uh, and how it seems like the dead are going to rise, which is a lot like Blackest Night. They keep saying, oh my god, they're totally ripping this off. No, it's just the, the way that they're progressing the story, and it's naturally threatening to have dead rise. Also, zombies have been very hot for a while. Yeah. People have been talking about zombies. So it gets into the collective unconscious. That's generally how these things work. When you have good writers, you have big companies, they're not stupid. Joe Cassano's is not really sitting around being like, oh man, if we have a zombie event, nobody is going to notice that this is the same as Blackest Night because they're stupid. I'm sorry, Joe Casada's nationality is... A crazy far ah, 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 I do it. it I would just say... Like yeah, Evil but, Twin, do sum up. If it's done well, I don't care. That's a great way of putting it. All right, let's move on. Talk about, uh, talk about, uh, Locust Tizzy asks, I don't read any DC, but I hear that Blackest Night is great. Should I pick it up or am I going to be lost? Yes, you should pick it up. No, you're not going to Yeah, just pick up, number one, you definitely don't need to pick up the prey. Yeah, there's loot. more than enough information. Yeah, it's all right there, and it's fantastic. You'll love it. There you go. Patrick Yaboot asks, <laughs> what is the best, worst <laughs> resurrection of a dead character in comic book history? And, to tie it in, uh, Crackshot asks, killing off characters, is it good, bad, or ugly? So, well, let's talk about both of this. Well, let's first talk about The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, the movie starring Clint Eastwood. Amazing film. Really well done. Uh, the music, you know, the... It's great stuff. And, no, uh, I feel that... Um, that... Uh, I don't know. Like, uh, the best resurrection in Blackest Night right now, could it be Jean? 
or is it Aquaman? I don't. I feel like you know. Right now, I can't wait to see who else they're bringing. Yeah. Oh, but do you consider that a resurrection, or is it something like Jason Todd or Captain America coming back or Bucky coming back? Oh, I looked at it as resurrection as like physically a corpse coming out of the grave uh, being <laughs> okay. resurrected. You're very literal. Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah, Probably I, Bucky. I mean, I think that's pretty clear just because Andrew Rickers and such a fantastic job that most people would rather have Bucky as Cap than Steve Rogers, which is yeah, pretty And that says so much about the writing. Yeah, in terms of uh, good, bad, or ugly, um, I don't know. I think killing off characters is probably bad in general because, mainly because it's used as an out. It's used as a way of saying, oh man, this villain's so badass, he'll kill people. Or, oh, geez, the stakes are so high that people are going to die. Find out another way of doing it. You know, we were talking on uh, the previous episode about Spider-Man dying. Of course Spider-Man's not going to die. What do you mean? No, he died. Never mind. We're going to move on. Uh, CBC Boothman asks, uh, this is actually, if you guys don't know, this is uh, the guy at our live show, uh, Boothman. Boothman. He lives in the booth. He lives in the booth. That's his... Uh, yeah, and he runs the tech for our show. He asks... Why won't you let me sleep at your house? Uh, and the reason is because last time we did, you ate all of our food. <laughs> Detective X asks, huge spoilers, but what do you guys think? Oh, earmuffs on. And earmuffs uh, also, anybody does want to know stuff about Black uh, Uh What do you guys think, uh, the, for the rest of us that are still here, what do you guys think about the recent reveal of Necron as the huge mastermind behind Blackest Night? There was recently an interview online, Jeff Johns talked about it. I think it makes sense. That's it. That's pretty much the end. We'll see how it plays out. I think starting issue five, Jeff Dunn's does a great job fleshing out, no pun intended, the bad guy, so I think it's going to be no exception here. All right, earmuffs off. Pete. Um, I'm sorry that he had to treat me like a little kid. I just, I love Blackest Night uh, so much that I really don't want to hear anything that could spoil or ruin it because right now I'm at such a great honeymoon stage with it. I don't want the magic to go away. Like you're having sex with it a lot? George uh, Z Y Gioris, I'm sorry, I can never pronounce your name, George, uh, asked, does the CBC crew prefer the return of Barry Allen, or do they miss Wally West in their glory? A lot of resurrections today. Yeah. I love Wally West. I named my flash drive, get it, Wally West. <laughs> I have Wally West figure right over there. Wally West is yeah, my favorite right flash. flash drive. I can be sold on Barry Allen, but I love Wally West, and I need more Wally West. I'm, I'm a Barry guy myself. Oh, come on. What are you, like 50? Grandpa, same thing. Chovango uh, asks, if Pete is Wolverine and Justin is Spidey, what comic book character is Alex? Cypher. There you go. Or Modoc. <laughs> it's close. <laughs> Mental organism designed only to krill. Because I like, I like to... Yeah. I have Bailey. Patrick Yaboot says, oh, this is last but not least, uh, what comic book title would you want to be adapted into a movie? Oh, man. Live Wires. Adam Warren's Live Wires from Marvel. One of my favorite things of all time. Seriously, pick up the digest. It's fan freaking tastic. Uh, it is a movie. It should be a movie or a TV series. It should be an ongoing. I wish it sold more so that Marvel would bring it back. It is that good. I, I would like to say uh, uh, the thing about that question is there are so many comic books that are made into, being made into movies, it's kind of irrelevant. It's like what which should be done right? Like what should, I'm nervous about Jonah Hex. Because that is a very exciting possibility. I love Westerns. I love Jonah Hex as a character. I'm nervous about the transition of them Hollywooding him up a little bit, making him more universal. I hope they don't do that. But I feel that, like, there's got to be yeah, a way actually, to I'm honor... Afraid, but instead of, uh, like, his mouth all messed up, he has, like, a zit. Like, one zit. It's pretty bad. Actually. And people are like, ah, look at the deformity! Uh, zits... They, what what would you say? So we're going to let you ask what well, else very quickly because... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I just, I feel that, like, you, you sh we should really just be honoring the comics a little bit more if you're going to make him do a movie because what made it so great as a comic and then transitioning in a movie, you ruin it. And uh, The Punisher has yet to be made into a good movie. There you go. You heard it here first. If you have a question, you can write us at comicbookclublive at gmail.com, so twitter.com, slash comicbookclub. Just have a badass the whole time. Pop no culture explanation. Shop. Slash TV club, no, like, crime, the blanket. Live on iTunes where you can watch the episodes. If you want to see us live, 
New York City, Tuesday nights, 8 o'clock, uh, People's Improv Theater. You can win $25. Okay.